People, my people, isn't the weather just glorious as I record it? It's the 12th of September, and for me, love is in the air because outside that I record this, it is just a glorious spring day. By Thursday, when this begins to go to air, it's going to be 26. So the weekend's just got gin drinking all over it. In fact, the entire summer's got gin drinking all over it because it's going to be a scorching hot summer. Now, now I've got to confess, my hand over my liver, down here, out of sight, um, my sacred organ, my liver, that I'm going to be drinking a lot of gin over the summer. In fact, I'm going to be drinking a lot of booze. In fact, I'm going to be doing my own, my very first wine review soon. I know, you're all sitting back going, oh, Odin, surely not. You're not going to be drinking over summer, are you, Odin? That's what you're saying at the moment. I can hear it in the future. Okay, I'm that sort of guy. So, the very first gin I'm going to be drinking over this summer is this stuff. It's Hillmutton Gin's Rare, Dry, Uniquely Smooth London Gin. And I'm looking at the side of it. Hints of citrus and spice of a well-balanced juniper base. So they're saying this is uniquely smooth. We will hear the sound of happiness. I'm seeing a small bottle, so it's a small sound of happiness. Pour some into one of my favorite glasses. Sound of unhappiness. Cool coming back in. So. Oh yeah, these guys are not lying. Um, and this is Melbourne made, by the way. Yet more example of the quality of, the, that of gin that I enjoy without really going all that far from my home. The nose is very spare. Okay, there's not a lot happening. The room I'm in is relatively warm, so this aromatic should be well and truly happening. No, it's not. Having said that, let's try this taste of happiness. Oh yeah, these guys have nailed it. Uniquely smooth, oh yeah. So it doesn't so much um, get drunk so much as it just flies down your throat, basically it throws itself, hits the back of your tongue and goes boopee down in the um, in your throat. Yep, there's this citrus, there's the juniper, not a terribly complex uh, creature as all dry gins are complex creature you um well don't get the dry gins so this will make an absolutely lethal um gnd uh and more likely a gin fizz go and get something that's um say high in the citrus go and get a lemon fizz to be honest with you or a lemon jello you know one of those made by san pellegrino and this would go really well get a large bottle it could more likely go really well with a um, long lazy lunch one of those many hot days that we are forecast to have because um, news flashes if it's literally um, mid-september and we're hitting 26 then I've got a funny feeling by mid-december we're gonna be hitting 40 and that's just code for go out and drink lots of gin so yeah um, Hill Martin gin guys you nailed it um, absolutely nailed it Uniquely smooth London dry gin. Yes, 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 yes. Tick, 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 tick. Um, next week I'm reviewing a wine, a Greek wine, because I'm a traditionalist. So if I'm going to go just start doing um, reviewing things, if I'm not going to review stuff that's made in Melbourne, I'm going to go back to the very beginning and short of finding some Armenian wines or Georgian wines, which is the grapes were initially domesticated and turned into that wonderful stuff called um, fermented fruit salad. Um, I'm going to be doing a Greek wine. So, Chin Chin, this is the uh, Hill Martin Gin's uniquely smooth, rare dry, uniquely smooth London dry gin. Guys, you've nailed it. I'm a happy camper. I think I'll be going out and getting a big bottle, as should you. If you want stockists, just click that link. Remember, it's vegan, it's gluten free, and, um, well, if you've got a choice between stress and drinking alcohol, go for the booze, people. I'll catch you around. Go off and get some of that booze now. Quickly. You know, you can do it online in your lunch break. I'll catch you. Just hang out and finish the rest of this. Bye.